Kyle does not drink room temp gin like everybody. He wants everybody to think he does. I know, but he's that's like the funniest thing I introduce people. He'll be like, babe, you want a margarita? Sorry, and then he'll be like, what? do we have Glee recorded? <laughs> Just kidding, he never said that. <laughs> I've never, never done that in my life. <laughs> but for real though, have you ever had room temperature Malibu? Room temperature Malibu. <laughs> 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 the, the aroma's pop. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot like a, doing a shot of sunscreen. That's like... Uh, my name is Kyle Bailey. I'm the chef at Birch and Barley Restaurant. Uh, Birch and Barley is a restaurant uh, with American cuisine, uh, local, seasonal, farm to table. It's all the same words everybody uses. We, we definitely make a big push to make everything in house. It's a from scratch kitchen. All the sausages made from scratch, every dough made from scratch, all the pastas made from scratch. I just never wanted to open a bag here. You know, I never wanted to open a can. I wanted it to be uh, as challenging to a cook as possible. So we started making um, couscous in house. I'd never really seen it done before. I'd never seen anybody do that. So it took us a while to figure it out, but huge flavor, awesome, awesome house-made technique. I'm super excited about it. Let me, uh, let me go get that dish. It was a carrot puree with handmade couscous, um, minted fava beans, and lamb tenderloin. So we made our own curry blend. It was really cool. And then uh, we started making our own yogurt. So we kind of finished the sauce with that yogurt and the curry. Birch and Barley is definitely a beer-centric restaurant. The pairing beer with the food is very special. I don't know a whole lot of people doing that right now, and I definitely wanted to jump into that one. We have 555 beers, it's 50 drafts, um, 500 bottles, we have five um, cask ales. Greg Engert is the, uh, the beer director uh, for this restaurant, also for the entire restaurant group that we, uh, that we work for. He's the best that I've ever met at beer, and his knowledge will astound. It's amazing. He was one of the you know, top three reasons me and Tiff moved here uh, to work here. My wife, uh, Tiffany. We've been married for uh, about three years. Tiff's running desserts for the entire group. She's got really great ideas, you know, really uh, has a, a different way about food than I do. It's fun, dude. it's really cool. You're just swimming with bow-legged women. Now we're going to Radius, Chef Todd Wiss. He's got the, it's like this killer restaurant. This, this wasn't super planned, it was like, just this chef who really Found wanted to. Uh, made yeah. it happen. Yeah, he just made it happen, man. It was awesome. Remember how good the pastas were? I, I love it. I love everything he's doing. He makes You're all like, that this himself, makes right? me hate myself. <laughs> it totally does, man. <laughs> it's it's like he won't. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it uh. sucks. So uh, it's like we were eating. Uh, like, Hesitation. We, we were eating, and it was like, oh, I don't know what he's doing. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> See you. See ya. Radius yeah. Pizza uh, is in Mount Pleasant area of uh, Washington, D.C. Todd Wiss, he's, um, he's the chef at Radius. I definitely want to get the risotto, because it was so good last yeah. time. All this stuff sounds awesome, dude. Do you want to get the, uh, we get some mussels? Yeah. Yes, mussels. It's kind of hard to sense them when you order everything. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Kyle and I do it when we go out. Order the whole menu. Todd. He's like just the coolest guy ever, man. He's he's here to cook, man. He's here to cook you good food, and that's all, man. And he's in his kitchen every night, man. He's doing it himself, you know. People are it's a misnomer, They're like oh, they just serve pizza, but you know we do other things as well. We started risotto with veg stock, some aborio rice that's been par cooked. We try to uh, drive the menu with the seasons and so forth like that. Right now, it's just the beginning of springtime, and we're getting stuff that's fun, like asparagus and ramps and peas and favas. When I think of spring, I think of green. I think of what's coming out of the doldrums of winter into the start of something great. I'm gonna finish it with uh, some whipped goat cheese that's whipped with lemon confit and olive oil and a spring pistu. I think what's great about Radius is that we're bringing the quality of food and a good atmosphere to a lower price point. And that's important to my wife and I. I think we hit the mark. Asparagus risotto. Oh, yes. uh, Following a little theme here, green. Yeah, I know what you mean. Green. Yeah. Green is like So fucking good. It's like rich, but there's lemon or some kind of acid oh, it's awesome. in there. Every time I see like what he does, I'm like, ah, blown away. It's like, Everything's really balanced. That's yeah, awesome. Todd's food is uh, it's it's extremely local. It's very seasonal. 
No, he's got really, really killer pizza. But um, but it's his pastas, man. It's his pastas. That carrot sauce is so good. The fettuccine with the ramps and the fava beans. That dish was just so simple, so clean. It was extremely fresh, and it was real. You know, it tasted like real food. I mean, this is like ramp pesto right on the noodle, and it's so awesome. It's like it's it's working. It's working in ways that I could never make work. It's like it's really simple, and all the flavors are really yeah. strong. It's really good. Okay, we have the meatballs oh, shit. <laughs> and the cream kale. We met in New York. Um, we were in New York. We were at the Bryant Park Hotel. It was 2003. They had one one day a week. They had to work uh, the late night shift yeah. for room service. So I would like get done with my shift and I'd go to the corner store and buy beer and come back and we just sit and drink beers because no one ever ordered food. So you're just kind of sitting there waiting. Yeah, so you just sit there and drink beer all night, sitting on the counter. It's like, wow, man, one of those things I never <laughs> let anybody do. And we were just like sitting on the counter, uh, falling in love. <laughs> <laughs> With a house-made fresh pots, spring garlic uh, puree, and local kale, and local char. Oh my god! <sighs> Starting to get really full. <laughs> That's delicious. Yeah, it's so good. Have a seat, bro. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. What you guys like? Everything. It's it's so much more than pizza, and I, it was really good. I was, I was blown away by by this food. Hey, did you clean up nice? Thanks. <laughs> uh, let's, get a, let's get some drinks, dude. So it was, uh, it was me and Tiff, Greg, and uh, we grabbed Todd, and we rolled out to room 11. Well, I'm not the kind of guy who goes and has a beer, you know? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So room 11 is going to be like the next block on your right. Super small little place. They got this outdoor area with a fire pit. How are you ever gonna beat that? Even when it's raining out, it's awesome. Anything on the menu is awesome. You're never gonna lose with anything you pick. Man, cheers, guys. I cheers you, but I'm too busy drinking. <laughs> should we rotate? How should we do this? Good try. I guess uh, the whole cocktail thing, uh, you know, it got really big in New York. And um, you know, me and Tiff were right up in there, man. We were so about it. And in DC, there's a couple of really great cocktail places. You know, we were really, really into cocktails all the time, you know, like really uh, all about them. Along with beer and wine, you know, it's like, we drink, drink a lot. That's, what is this one, man? That's the one, that's mine, dude. That's the purple that's good, man. That's, 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 that's really one. right, dude, right? I picked it, dude, I picked it, it was awesome. Dude. Also, I've got this cold sore. <laughs> now you've all got the cold sore. <laughs> Me and Tiff, we used to go to um, Olive Garden once a year, just to Olive see what it was like. I know, right? So like, I love Olive Garden. I've never been, man. Oh, oh man! I'm not, I'm not saying because I'm you, a snot. No, I know. You, I know. Haven't, you, lived. Haven't, lived. you haven't lived. One year we I went in, it. and we went in, and we like sat down. And, you know, it was like a Monday night at 6:30. There was like a 45 minute wait. We're like, what the fuck? So we finally, we finally no, get a table. It. They had. 30 wines by the glass that were like out of a giant I'll jug. Home, right? They had yes. one bottle that was only by the bottle, the Chianti. So we ordered it and they were like, oh wow. They thought you guys were what? They, thought they, you guys like, like they were like, yeah, yeah. They, they ring a bell. Sure, you wanna go to so we're eating this food and I was just like, I don't know why my stomach hurts so bad already. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm getting a headache. I'm like, ugh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. But it's like all these preservatives give me such dude, that's, a headache, that's, dude. That's, 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 I'm telling you why I wanna go to fucking, is that where I wanna go? Red Lobster. <laughs> you have cheddar I'm biscuits, like, bro. They're so good. <laughs> they're so good. Cheddar biscuits. Uh, gonna make some hot pockets. Gonna make some uh, some pasta. <clears throat> and uh, and some egg dish. When it's late night and uh, you've had a few drinks. It's better than like almonds. Get some beers, guys. Oh, that's huh? yeah. After room 11, we came back to Birch and Barley, uh, hung out with all my cooks, and uh, cooked up some uh, some grub. The pasta is based off a sandwich uh, made famous by um, Tony Luke's in Philly. It's supposed to be uh, like pork cat or pork loin, broccoli rob, toasted pine nuts, and um, crushed red chili flake. We turn that into um, into a pasta with ricotta cavatelli, and uh, that's what we're serving to these guys tonight. Uh, another dish we made was the uh, giant ham and cheese hot pocket. 
I, I had Tiff do that because I trust her the most with dough. She's got that kind of figured out. So I bought this Himalayan salt block. You heat it slowly through. It's the biggest hot pocket you've ever seen. And it's like cooking on a, on a flat top on a griddle, you know? But it's made out of salt, so it's also seasoning the, the food. It's good, I think it's good. Yeah, it's great. It looks like a pastry person made this. One thing that we made was the flomlet, and I had a couple of foie gras scraps laying around. So I uh, kind of browned them up in the pan a little bit, added the egg, asparagus. All right, grab something, Tiff. Oh, this omelet looks awesome. It's deconstructed. <laughs> fuck you, man. Anyway, our kitchen dynamic is, uh, I think it's fun, man. I really like it, <laughs> you know? I don't know anybody who fights more than we do, but I don't know anybody who gets along better than us either, so. Hey, we do this all the time. That's great, dude. That's great. Yeah, this is almost so weird and shit. Yeah, that, that sucks. Hey, fuck you guys, man. You don't know what it's like trying to make it all when you're all fucked up, man. Tip, I makes cookies for every event ever. Is there anything that will ever beat a fresh baked cookie? I don't think so, man. Cookies. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, oh, man. Cookies. Oh, man. Kidding me, dude? This is awesome. This is 15 years before that. We're all nothing but pain, man. We're cooking six, seven days a week. 14 hour days, just trying to get some experience, man, trying to understand food, you know? And I loved it, it was fun, but it was, uh, it was rough, you know? I never thought that I would ever be given this chance. I never thought that I would be in charge and that I would be happy, and it's, it's awesome. Uh, cheers to you guys, thank you very much, man. Uh, here's to, here's to uh, drinking, also eating. Yes. I don't know where it came from, but it was so, I think I saw it on Night Court. It was, I love that fucking, it's my favorite cheers. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, she offered your honor, so I honored her offer, and all night long I was on her an offer. Hot from Nightcore. Are you sure? <laughs> it sounds like. And now a quote from Nightcore.